After walking uphill for hours on end, I do sometimes ask myself, why do I do it? But as soon as I reach the top, especially if I see an animal and a beautiful landscape, I know it was all worth it. My heart begins to beat a little faster, and I forget the effort of the early morning hike. I always have expectations when I go into the mountains, but it's not the end of the world if I don't get a photo. That gives me extra motivation for my next attack, and I hope the next time I will take a really good shot. I don't care how many photos I bring home. The main thing is that there is one where I say, wow. People are used to seeing ever higher quality photos, so you have to have the right equipment. My main camera is a 500mm telescopic lens by Canon with a maximum aperture of 4. When it comes to buying camera equipment, you should ask yourself, do I need it, do I want it, how much of a fanatic am I? A lens like this currently costs 12,500 new. And that's what other people spend on a nice car. But for me, it's just for the lens. That's not even including the rest of the equipment. People often think that if you have such a long lens, you can take close-ups from 500 meters away. For a good photo of a deer, I have to be around 40 meters away. You should always stay realistic. Either I have to approach the animals, or I have to wait and hope they walk past me. My big dream has always been to capture a buzzard as it prepares to land. Birds of prey are very shy animals, of course. They have very sharp eyes and see you way before you see them. Despite that, I still managed to get close enough to take a photo of a buzzard landing on a branch. But I have to say, I spent about one and a half years working on getting that shot. Those are the kinds of projects I set myself. It's an incredible feeling when you've finally taken the photo and got it saved on your memory card. That's what you call a top day for a wildlife photographer. When it comes to taking photos in the mountains, everything changes in winter. As everyone knows, we have a lot of snow. The most difficult thing in winter is that animals are much less active in order to save energy, because it is much harder for them to find food. Of course, I have to be careful that I don't disturb them and prevent them from resting in winter. As a wildlife photographer, I love it when I can be in the middle of a wild animal's habitat. But it doesn't mind me being there. I remain totally still and the animal continues to eat or scratch itself. It is things like those which are the reason why I don't want to encroach on the animals. Instead, I want to enjoy and capture the mountains and the animal world as they are. A good example is the black grouse, which settled down on a rocky outcrop and began to sing as the mist rose up from the valley below. Those are the moments when I begin to get goosebumps.
drives me. I just want to show people that there is something out there that we have to take care of. We should not take for granted that we have such stunning nature. For me, taking photos closes a beautiful circle. It's something I love doing. The longer you do it, the more obsessive you become. You spend more and more time and work on bigger and bigger projects. I don't know where it will ultimately take me, but that's fine by me. My next big aim is definitely to get people more involved in protecting nature.